Most people enjoy going out for lunch or dinner. It's the ideal opportunity to enjoy beautifully prepared meals and discover new things. Further, you won't have to bother about clearing the table or doing the dishes, and it's always wonderful to get out of the house. Restaurant staff members must work hard to deliver a comfortable experience for their clients. Chefs, supervisors, and wait staff work hard to make sure everything goes well. Melissa Sanchez, originally from Texas, is one of these hard workers. With years of expertise, she knew how to handle difficult situations and demanding consumers. Some consumers provide more challenges than others. Welcome to Nice Time Channel. Before we dive deeper into Melissa's story, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to join us on more inspiring journeys like this one. A career as a waitress isn't a dream job for most people, but Melissa Sanchez wasn't like most. She worked at Lucy's, a cafeteria-style restaurant chain in Texas. After several years in the industry, Melissa grew to love her job. Moreover, she was talented at it. According to her coworkers, she was arguably the best waitress in the restaurant. Customer service was at the heart of Melissa's priorities. She believed every customer deserved respect, no matter how challenging they might be. Her colleagues said she was always smiling and made people happy. These qualities set her apart, but also exposed her to the toughest challenge she had ever faced. As she was particularly skilled at managing difficult customers, she was given a special task. Management wanted her to take care of the most challenging customer at Luby's. While many would have dreaded this task, Melissa saw no downside. She was enthusiastic about embracing this challenge. There was one customer in particular who was so challenging that other servers would only wait on him if they had no other choice. Even Melissa admitted it was no walk in the park. He was one of the toughest customers she had ever encountered. Yet she had her reasons for continuing to serve him. Luby's dreaded customer was George Marshall, an 89-year-old World War II veteran. Because of his curt manner and grouchy personality, staff usually tried to avoid him as much as possible. George had been coming to Luby's for lunch for years, building a formidable reputation over time. Eventually, no one else wanted to serve him. Melissa was the exception. She was the only one who could handle George. The old complain and grumble all the time, but George was especially difficult. As soon as he entered the restaurant, everyone braced themselves for what was to come. Even if the food was good, George always found something to complain about. George was not a patient man and got upset if he had to wait. It got so bad that he would curse at the staff. At one point, even the most seasoned staff members had had enough of his antics. But for Melissa, George wasn't a problem. He was an entertaining challenge. She always served him with a smile. But what was her secret? How did Melissa handle his outbursts of insults? Despite his bad attitude, Melissa believed that respect was the key to good service. She adhered to this principle, even though she occasionally lost patience with George. Despite everything, George had earned a special place in her heart. She began to take an interest in the grumpy old man, but she could never have anticipated the unique surprise he had in store for her. Eventually, Melissa was the only one waiting for George. His moodiness and disrespectful words did not bother her. To her, George was just another customer who needed help. Melissa always did her best to serve George as quickly as possible. The only times she didn't take his order right away were when the place was very busy. To her, George deserved the best service possible, just like everyone else. That's how she became the best server in his eyes. George didn't seem to like most things. One exception, his love for meals as hot as boiling water. No matter what he ordered from the Luby's menu, one thing remained constant. It had to be served as hot as possible. According to Melissa, food tasted better when it scalded his palate. George came to the restaurant every day at the same time for seven years. Over the years, Melissa learned exactly how he liked his meals. She did her best to accommodate his wishes. She always tried to make him comfortable, even though it wasn't easy. Year by year, things seemed to improve between Melissa and George. She knew how to prepare his meal perfectly and always served it with a smile. She even tried to get the man talking by asking how his day was going. As Melissa built a relationship with George, 
Her colleagues couldn't understand how she could consistently serve their most difficult customer with a smile. Every day, she greeted him with enthusiasm. She didn't see him the same way others did. He even returned her smile sometimes. Over the seven years that Melissa Sanchez and George Marshall got to know each other, other servers came and went. Even the cooks knew exactly when George would walk into the restaurant. Through thick and thin, he remained a significant customer at the restaurant. His unique personality gradually became a fixture at Luby's. George wasn't the only regular at Luby's, but his colorful personality set him apart from the others. After spending seven years coming to lunch every day, everyone immediately noticed when he didn't show up one day, even those who would have preferred to avoid him. No one was truly concerned, except Melissa. After serving George for seven years, Melissa was used to seeing him every day. She even looked forward to serving him. She knew exactly when he came and knew he was never late. When one day he didn't show up, Melissa grew worried. George was still spry despite his advanced age. After all, his fiery temper required a lot of energy. Melissa began to worry and fear the worst, but since she still had work to do, she tried not to think about it too much. After all, despite her sincere concerns, there was still work to be done. The next day, George didn't reappear. After coming every day for seven years, it was unthinkable for him to miss two days without a reason. Most staff members weren't concerned, but Melissa missed him. She assumed he wasn't feeling well and needed a few days off, but she couldn't help thinking about his health. As Melissa worried about him, her colleagues started making jokes about George. They didn't understand why he was so missed by Melissa. The kind waitress had no idea what George had in store for her. The few days quickly turned into a week. Melissa couldn't let this pass and began to worry about her father's well-being. She didn't know how to contact him and didn't know where to start to find out how he was doing. In seven years of service, Melissa had learned a lot about George, including his desire for privacy. George had never talked about his private life. After seven years, Melissa knew nothing about his private life. She tried not to think too much about it and continued her work at Luby's as she always had. She was about to make a discovery that would change her life forever. With Luby's restaurant being very busy, Melissa didn't have time to dwell on what had happened to George. There were several other customers to serve. She ended up forgetting him because of her very demanding job until she discovered something in the local newspaper. Curiously, she felt compelled to buy the newspaper, even though she wasn't looking for anything in particular. The obituaries page quickly caught her attention. She suddenly understood why George had stopped coming. He had passed away. Melissa couldn't believe what she was reading. Melissa had learned to appreciate her ever grumpy client. She couldn't utter a single word after reading the obituary. The details of his death filled her with sadness. Despite everything, Melissa was surprised by her own reaction to the news. The waitress had never thought she would become emotional. The sudden grief and loss took her by surprise. Her colleagues made fun of it, but Melissa was devastated. One of her favorite customers would never return. Her colleagues didn't understand why George's death had such an impact on Melissa. The man had only smiled at her a handful of times. Despite his bad attitude, the waiter had a soft spot for the old veteran. Melissa herself didn't understand why George's death had affected her so much. She did the only thing she could think of. She prayed for him. She hoped it would help him find eternal peace. Her favorite customer may have passed away, but Luby's was still as busy as ever. There were other customers to take care of, so Melissa had to move on. The other waiters and waitresses had no problem doing that. They were quite happy to know that George would never return to the restaurant. Some staff members were even glad to know they would never have to see his grumpy face or hear his swearing outbursts again. They were grateful to enjoy a bit of peace and quiet after seven years. The rest of Texas moved on, but things had changed for Melissa. After George's death, Melissa felt a void. She often looked at the door, secretly wishing George would walk in. Unfortunately, he would never do so again. She didn't know much about his life, but his service during World War II was enough to earn her respect. Melissa knew from stories told by his friends and family members what George had endured. 
His military service had given him many life experiences. Melissa wanted to make his life easier through her good service, but she could no longer do so. She had to move on until she received a phone call. Melissa resumed her daily life. She had digested George's death and had gone back to work as if nothing had happened until she received a surprising call from an unknown number. During her break, Melissa's phone rang. The person on the other end introduced himself as a lawyer and addressed her by her name. That's when the man told her something that left her speechless. She initially thought it was a joke or a terrible mistake, but the lawyer managed to convince her it was the truth. It seemed Melissa was actually on the phone with a lawyer, but she didn't understand what was going on. The context of the call was even more confusing. The lawyer clarified the situation and let her know he was the lawyer for Walter Marshall, who had recently passed away. What he said next completely surprised her. George had named Melissa in his will. The lawyer proposed meeting the next day to discuss her inheritance. Melissa didn't know what to respond, but agreed to meet him. The old grump had apparently left a wonderful surprise for the waitress who had served him loyally all those years. Melissa didn't know what to say after receiving the phone call. She had a big question. What had George left her? And why had he chosen her as his heiress? Melissa finished her shift after the unique phone call and couldn't think of anything else but George. The next day, the lawyer would guide her through the necessary procedures. But why had George listed her in his will? Why had he chosen a waitress instead of close friends or family? He had never shown interest in her. Despite everything, he had listed her in his will. To get to the bottom of it, Melissa reminisced about old memories. Before going to bed, Melissa tried to remember as many memories as she could of George. She remembered he had never had a positive attitude toward her or her colleagues. Despite everything, she had adapted to his grumpy behavior. She had even developed a soft spot for him. She had empathy for George and respected his past as a military man and warrior but she had never felt appreciated by him. She wasn't even sure he had noticed all she did to make him comfortable. She was about to understand how much he appreciated her. All the regulars at Luby's knew how hard Melissa worked to provide the best possible service. She did her job perfectly, but never expected anything in return from her customers, especially not from the cantankerous George. But apparently, that was precisely why the lawyer had called her. To say the least, she was shocked. George's lawyer showed up at Melissa's place the next day. Once inside, he told her what George had left her. It was his favorite car and $50,000. Melissa couldn't believe he had left her such a beautiful gift. He had chosen her before anyone else in his life. George knew Melissa better than she thought. He expected her not to accept his gifts right away. That's why he had asked his lawyer to make sure she would accept them. As expected, she had trouble accepting a car and a large sum of money. The lawyer assured Melissa that George would rest in peace, knowing he had made her life better. This unexpected act of gratitude took Melissa by surprise, but she didn't take it for granted. After careful consideration, she decided to respect her favorite regular's last wishes. The loyal waitress was extremely grateful to George. Despite this, she believed no amount of money could compare to the sympathy and kindness between two people. Plus, she was convinced that every customer should be treated with the same respect. Like George, all those years of work had paid off for Melissa, even if it wasn't really for her. The gesture and the feeling of appreciation for her work were the most important things, according to her. As long as she worked, she would keep the same smile. She would always treat others as she wished to be treated. Melissa is grateful, but she has also learned an important life lesson. Appearances can be deceiving. Just because someone always seems angry doesn't mean they don't enjoy life. Even grumpy people can appreciate the best things in life. For Melissa Sanchez, George Marshall was the perfect example. 